Okay, so we're out here at A Plus Garage again. And we are doing a car that Adam's flipping here. So we're just gonna kinda help him figure out the smartest thing to do for the least amount of money that will help him get rid of the car the fastest. That's sorta right up our alley. It's a service I used to provide, including listing the car. And uh, so, sorta what I'm good at. And in this case, uh, based on the condition, we've determined that a complete detail is of the most value over any of my packages according to just flipping the car and what it'll uh the roi on it because at the end of the day when you're flipping a car it's all, all about roi 100 percent and the only thing i've come across that's going to make a huge difference is uh outside of this complete detail that kenny's helping me finish the inside on right now we've used hydro blue as a guaranteed six month sealer and uh so it's gonna bead and be well protected all over. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a compound. Then we're gonna buff these lenses clear on these headlights. And I'm gonna take a ceramic coating and put a long-term protection slash high gloss coating over the top of it. And we're gonna have them suckers looking awesome. Um, so over and above and beyond the main thing that's going to make a difference is new tires which he's decided to put on so i've already cleaned the rims real good all the way through and then the, the only other really huge difference seeing how the car is real clean i feel is going to be these headlights so the paint's in fairly good shape it's already washed and protected now all the glass is in good shape. The interior is in pretty good shape. It's a nice looking car. It didn't need shampooing because it wasn't that beat to death. So I feel like it's gonna be a quick sell and small SUVs that don't use up a lot of gas go quick. In fact, one of the first ones I ever flipped myself was a white version of this one. And for one of my long-term customers that's still with me today. And, uh, I think we did pretty good on that one. Just getting it really cleaned up and I think maybe we did the headlights on that one as well. So, he's working his way around to the driver's side now and we're gonna get all around the column there and make sure all the panels look good and the door jams are gonna be immaculate. And then I am gonna buff these lenses on the front and we're gonna put some ceramic over them bad boys and Frankly, with brand new tires, this is going to be a sweet ride. Wetted everything down real good. The lens, the pad, and I'm going to kick it on. Uh, it looks like I've had it set on three. So, actually, that seemed to be perfect for this particular one. Uh, buffers may vary. You choose your own speed, what matters for you based on what works for you. And I'm going to get started. I'm going to need both hands, unfortunately, but I will show you the result. Okay, now that I've wiped away all the residue, this is how it's left. And it allows you to go straight from wet sanding to coating. And the coating I use, I have a couple of choices. Basically my coating is gonna be either a one year guarantee or a ceramic that lasts up to three. Alright, so this is our results from a simple wet sand and seal on the headlights. That's going to give them a one year protection. And the best thing about doing that quick wet sand with a 3000 grit is it exfoliated, so to speak. And then the type of sealer I use is a nice oily product. And it filled in all them open pores right after exposing it and having it the cleanest it's ever been. It filled in all the pores with that nice oily, high gloss, nano textured polish looking sealer.